I'll be headed out for seaweed soon, but first, I'm going lobstering. Because of the Gulf of Maine's rapidly warming waters, the lobster population has been shifting northeast at a rate of about four and a half miles a year. At present, Stonington is the epicenter of this northward migration. And for now, its fishery brings more lobster to market than anywhere else. This is the Intuition, and its owner and captain, Tony Bray. Ready to go, boss? He's a fixture of the town, operating a local restaurant and Stonington's general store. Though I've gone out with Tony once before, I'm an amateur who's here to learn, take orders, and be of help wherever I can. One of my most important jobs is to maintain a reserve of filled bait bags to refresh the traps before we send them back to the bottom. We're approaching our first set of traps. Tony uses a gaff to grab the lines, which are then wrapped around the block and mechanically winched up from the deep. Lobster time. There's a lot of anticipation as the first trap slowly makes its way to the surface. Its contents could easily set the tone for the day. Jesus Christ, look at the lobsters. The first trap is loaded. They empty the traps and sort the keeper-sized lobsters from those that are too small and have to be released. The rest of the day unfolds in much the same way with perfect weather and traps overflowing with lobsters. The third man usually makes 10% of the profit, but I'll be taking my pay in lobsters rather than dollars since my wedding's right around the corner and I want to feed our guests Maine's most celebrated delicacy. This is a great haul for this time of year and it'll be more than enough to feed everyone. After a great day's haul on the lobster boat, Michael Woodcock's taking me out for my first seaweed harvest. Seaweed is not a plant, technically. It's marine macroalgae, so it's big algae that's growing in the ocean as opposed to, as opposed to phytoplankton okay. or right. freshwater algae. There's freshwater microalgae and like spirulina, which is edible. They are plant kingdom, no? No, they're in the protist kingdom. They which, are. Which is sort of the orphan kingdom for organisms that the class... I, didn't the, ever, I never knew that. The, the okay. scientists didn't know quite what to do with. Um, oh, okay. So seaweed predates, according to the fossil record, seaweed predates the existence of terrestrial plants by about 800 million years. Come on. So terrestrial plants are the new kids on the block. Seaweed, according to the fossil record, also is the first to invent or discover or figure out, how you, however you want to put it, yeah. uh, sexual reproduction. Okay. So seaweed basically invented sex. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.